me, Rebecca, and today we're back for another video. And today we are going to be drawing a bird in a birdhouse. And this is what it's going to look like. This is what it's going to look like. Um, it's very simple but very cool. And I'm going to be teaching you how to draw it and to color it. So, without further ado, let's get started on the materials. So, for today's materials, I'm going to be using a Sharpie. But I suggest you use a pencil and an eraser. Um, if you feel comfortable using a black marker or a Sharpie, um, you can go ahead and do that. And so the way I'm organized my materials today is based on the section. So I'll show you what I mean. So for the tree house, or not the tree house, for the bird house, we have a marker, two colored pencils, and one brown crayon. For the grass, we have four oil pastels and two crayons. For the belly of the bird, we have a crayon and a colored pencil. For the wings of the bird, we have two colored pencils, uh, one oil pastel and one crayon. And for the actual bird itself, we have a bunch of items, two colored pencils, four oil pastels, and three crayons. Two other extra items is this pink, um, colored pencil and this orange colored pencil um, or just for the beak and the pink is for all the hearts So before we got started I want to kind of talk about what kind of techniques we're going to be using today and We're going to be doing a gradient. So going from multiple different colors and Doing different shades. Uh, it's called shading So shading is when you have a bunch of different colors But like all the same colors like different shades of brown and all together um, we're going to be doing a bunch of that and see this is a bunch of shades here So that's called shading and so the main things we're going to be doing today are gradients and shading So I'll um, tell you more about that when we get started coloring So let's get started on drawing this beautiful picture So as I do for most of my drawings and for animals, we're going to start by drawing like a little semicircle So you're not going to draw it in the middle you want to go over here and draw it a little off to the side. So this will be the beginning of the head. So you don't want it to be too big. Like that. And you want to curve it round. And keep going. Like the head. And then you want to start curling this down. You want to stop right there because we're going to draw the wings. But you want, if you want, you can keep curving this towards about the same area like that. And for the wings, you wanna go inside and you're kinda of gonna repeat the shape a little bit. So you're going to imitate that same curve. And then you wanna use, go back up here to this line and you want to curve it outward like that. And you go here and you want to connect them. like so and you can fix this curve a little bit and for the inside of this you just want to create some uh, U shape just to show feathers so one two three one two one and for this part you just want to connect it down like that and for this you want to go out just a bit and you just want to come back in like that and I'm going to draw the eyes so the eyes are super simple just draw a semicircle like this and a little line like that as an eyebrow and for the beaks we're going to do like almost a sideways M so you're just going to go a little below the eye right there you're just going to draw one two three four an M and so that's, we're done with basically like the um, bird itself and for the legs. So I'm not going to draw the legs just yet. I'm actually going to go and draw the tree. They're not the tree house. I keep saying tree house. The bird house. So the bird house is very simple. You want to go super close to here. So you want to go right here. You don't want to go too far because the legs will look like it's really tall. Because what we're going to do is we're going to draw the legs on top of the um, slant, like the roof. So it's going to look very slanted. So it's going to look kind of weird if you have it really all the way down here. 
So you want to go close right here and give yourself a point. And you want to slant downward and create an upside down V. And then you just want to imitate that and go inside a little bit. And you just want to follow that line. When you connect it, you don't want to draw just a straight line like that. You want to give a little curve. And you want to continue going down like that. And you connect them up. And now you can draw the legs of the bird like that. And now for the inside of the treehouse, you can draw whatever design you would like. And I'm going to show you a few designs you can do. So here are a few designs you can do. So I do a bunch of tree uh, bird houses. And so for the inside, you can do a bunch of designs. You can have a circle and a dot, a heart and a dot, like a regular window and a dot, or a diamond. You can um, play around with the different shapes. You can have um, like a circular window. You can have um, a triangle. This is totally your drawing, and you can decide how you want to um, draw it and how you want to create it and add your own little twist to it. So the way I'm going to be doing it is I'm going to be drawing a little circular window. So I'm going to be drawing a ginormous circle, almost like an oval. I'm going to draw a little heart inside. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four, like that. And then let me think, there's one more thing you can do to add to this. This is optional. I think it just adds a nice touch. So this is gonna, we're going to create a belly for the bird. So you're just going to go in like that, like a semicircle. Go outward and go back in like that. It's getting awfully close to this wing. Well, that's okay. I think it looks nice like that. And now we're going to draw the little stand this um, house is going to be standing on. So draw a line down, another line down like that, and you connect it up. This is optional, but I always think this adds a nice touch. You can um, draw some grass around it, so it gives your picture a little more perspective and um, adds more detail to it. So the way I'm going to be drawing my grass is I'm just going to go here and draw a few lines like this. And just play around with the different textures you want to use. And I'm just going to draw a few lines out like that with little reeds of grass. You don't have to do this. I think it's just um, a nice touch. And the final thing we're going to do is we're going to add uh, a few little um, music notes. So... You can have different music notes like this. I just like adding this because it, uh, it shows that the bird is singing. You can even have a few hearts here and there. Like that. And that's literally it. You can have different things around you. You can draw a sky. You can have clouds, a sun. But for now, I'm just going to leave my drawing like this. And now it's time to color. Okay, so for coloring this, um, I said I was going to talk a little bit about gradient, and I'm going to. So let me show you my first picture, and that will help me explain gradient a little bit. So the most obvious gradient, gradient is here on the wings. So as you can see, it um, goes from like one color and goes slowly and now it progresses into this different color. So um, a gradient is basically a bunch of different colors descending into one another. So from this, it's like this blue all the way down to the green. And you can't see it's like a sudden transition. The thing about gradients is that there's like not a line where the two different colors um, separate. It's like they all blend in into one color. And gradients don't have to be all horizontal. They can be vertical. Like they can go from this side all the way to here. Sometimes they can even be circular. So there's one point with different color, go around, there's a next color like that. That's how I did it, kind of here. So, and that's that. And shading. So let me talk about shading. If I zoom in on that birdhouse, you can see that there are many different colors in that roof. 
So there's a bunch of shades of brown. So that's called shading. And shading is when you use multiple different colors, but you kind of um, put them into different things. So think about um, markers. The reason I don't use markers very often is because it's very hard to shade with them. You can't have many different colors and you can't blend them in easily with markers. So shading is one of the things that defines artwork. And the thing about shading is that it makes it look more realistic and more cool and pretty. So anyway, back to our piece. We're going to start by coloring the belly. So what I like to do is I like to give a little border with color pencil. Color pencil often works best for a border. And you just want to color everything outside like that. And you kind of want to fill the rest in with the crayon. And you don't want to make it too sudden. You want to kind of add some of that colored pencil in there too. Just to help it blend easier. And see that also, that looks great. And it kind of pops the um, belly out a little bit. And now for the wings. So the wings, um, I have different colors here. And what I want to do, I'm going to do very similarly how I did it before. So I line up my colors all down here. And I want to figure out what um, way I want to do it. So what color I want to go first, then second, then third. So after a little bit, I decided that I want to have my blue, then this turquoise, then this blue green, and then this green, descending from this order. So this is what a gradient is. You pick different colors and you pick an order for them to blend in. So I start with this blue and I go around like this. So I do the top layer. And when coloring, you always want to imitate the shape of the wing. So I don't want to color like this. I want to go in the shape of the wing. It's okay if you mess up a little bit. You don't have to go exactly in the shape. I just think that this helps. Um, it doesn't look weird. Because if you drew the sky and color the sky in um, vertically, it would look kind of weird, right? So you always want to kind of follow the shape of what you're coloring. Now, after I colored um, the top layer, I'm going to go in my old pastel. And I'm just going to draw the next layer. So if you think that the colors are too similar, you can even blend in two colors together to create a new shade. So I'm going to add maybe some of the crayon I did before into there. It doesn't make much of a difference, but I think it just helps blend it in easier. Like that. And remember, if you're going to use old pastel, they smudge a lot, so be careful. And I pick my next color, which is this. It's um, light green, except a little lighter. And I just want to go, and I want to go into what I colored before. So this just helps blend it in easier. And lastly, I want to go in with my final shade of green. And I want to just blend that in well. Like that. That's what a gradient is. It progresses from one color into another. Now we're going to do a different type of gradient around. So for this gradient, this is a little tricky because you're not going to use all the colors exactly how I did here. So you're just going to, going to play around with it. So I'm just going to start with any random color. So let's say I started with this crayon. I'm just going to go into the top and kind of shade everything around it. Like that kind of imitate it and I'm not going to go all the way around I'm just going to start back here like that and then I pick the next closest color to the one I just did so I say this one sometimes it's a hard choice because you see two different colors that are very similar so what you can do is you can do a little bit of this color and then switch and go to the oil pastel And you can switch again. You can kind of just play around with how you shade it. And use this different color again. It's totally your choice how you want to shade this. And after you choose your next closest color, choose this one. And you just go like that. And once you think it's been, it's all very light, you want to add some darker colors. So for example, I'm going to use some of this. I'm just going to go around and I think that you should have an equal balance 
between one color, one um, shade of color, and another one. So you should have not too much dark, but not too much light either. And then you go in with a different color. And you shade it. So that is the reason I picked this white. This white helps shade and blend everything else together easily. Like that. And don't worry if it gets on to the Sharpie or a pencil. You can always just redo it. And then you go in this dark. And you just play around with the different colors. And I'll be right back once I finish the bird. So all I did is just finished up that blue and re-sharpie and retouch these edges and just color in that beak. And now for the birdhouse. So this birdhouse I'm going to be focusing on shading rather than gradient. You should have an equal balance between gradient or just um, regular shading. So to make sure all your paste doesn't look the same. You want them to have um, look different and unique. So the way I'm going to start this is just going to go around the edges with this brown marker. This is just to make it pop out a little more. And now you just want to go in with the different colors you have, different shades of brown, and you just want to color it in. You can color it in um, as much as you'd like. You can use different colors, one color, it does not matter. I think using um, different colors is nice. And that's kind of like the whole point of shading. And even some of this brownish yellow looks good. Good. Um, you can mix in some of this brown. Like that. So you can totally play around with the colors. And I'll be back once I finished the birdhouse. So I just played around with the colors. And I kind of switched off between different colors to finish this birdhouse. And now all you need to do is to just do the grass and the finishing touches. So the way I'm doing this grass is super simple. I'm just doing like I did the birdhouse, switching off between different colors. So you don't want to stay on one color too long. And you don't want to have too many different shades of color. You want to kind of mix them in like that. And you don't want to use all, all pastels you, or all markers or all crayons. You want to switch it off between different types of media. That's called mixed media picture, uh, mixed media shading. And that means you're using um, not just one type of coloring tool, you're using multiple. That's a form of art that many artists use. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the finishing touches, which is just coloring these hearts, and finish the grass, and I'll be right back. So this is my final product, and all I'm going to do is just add some color in between these reeds of grass, like that. And I colored in those hearts. So as you can see, this is a very simple but very nice um, drawing. And it's um, really easy and simple. And I hope you learned something new today. If you have, click that like and subscribe button. If you have any more ideas of what I should do tutorials on, please let me lo uh, please let me know, and I might just do it. I hope you learned and enjoyed some enjoyed. Bye.